Yeah, what's four plus four? Exactly. Okay, so if you followed me this far, I appreciate it. Um, we're going to figure out how to take this hot mess and make it into something beautiful, which is what I am an expert in. So first of all, never buy this hair dye. It is absolutely the worst hair dye I've ever used. And I love purple dyes. I've used so many different ones, and that was probably the worst one I've ever used. The rest of the dyes that I'm using are from Overtone. Um, they give amazing results every time. I trust them, I love them. We're gonna use them for the rest of the colors. So I'm taking this orange and I'm using that on the lighter parts of my hair. I made sure to do this kind of strategically, I guess. So I'm taking the orange and putting that on the light areas and then taking the yellow on the lightest parts of my hair, as long as they aren't on my roots. I didn't really want yellow roots, so I uh, just went against that. But everywhere else, if there was a really bright spot at my roots, I would go in with orange or purple. And then if there was a darker spot I wanted to kind of hide, I would also go in with the purple. Um, yeah, this is all just, I honestly went with my gut and just kind of painted wherever I felt like made sense. If that makes sense, I don't know. But I really hated this purple, man. Even the like texture of it was really bad. I prefer like, a thicker hair dye. That way it kind of like really sticks to the hair like a conditioner. That's just a preference I have. And this one was like super watery in a bad way. Um, I think the last time I used this kiss dye was on a wig and that's the only time I'll ever use kiss dye ever again. Yeah, it was real bad. Anyways, so this one strand I really liked. It was one of my favorite areas to do. I did a ombre from purple to orange to yellow. And at this point I was like, okay, maybe my hair doesn't look that bad. I feel like I could save it at this point. And then I just kept going. So I was pretty confident at this point. Um, doing different combinations. Some areas had orange to yellow ombre, some areas had orange to pink, some areas had purple to pink, some areas had purple orange to yellow. Um, I think I also tried to do an orange to purple, which I, it, that was a mistake. <laughs> it didn't look good, but I only did like two parts in those colors, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm just gonna continue applying random colors. Just honestly, not really any thought behind this, except uh, make it cute. So yeah, that's what I, I, I just tried to make cute. Throughout the process, I was getting even more confident, um, except when I got to the pop, top part because my hair was all different types of colors, so. All right, so I tried to copy the left side and the right side. So once I finished with the back portion, um, I just tried to mirror all of the colors that I did on the other side. And I did this for both sides of my head. So I do one side, make sure to try to mirror it as much as possible. That way my hair kind of looks a little cohesive. So this color was actually chosen by someone on TikTok. I asked you guys what color you think I should dye my hair next. And everyone voted for a sunset hair color. And I've never tried this color before. I wanted to do something different from what I've done before in the past. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I really liked it. I think it's really cute. But I already have an idea of what I want to do for my hair next. And I'm already planning on fading this out pretty quickly. So I'm sorry. I don't, I don't keep colors long. Um, so this one's gonna be going pretty fast. This color I'm probably gonna get rid of by next month and I'm very excited for the next one. I'm not gonna say what it is so that I can surprise you guys, I guess. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the process. So you guys can listen to the music. Don't forget to subscribe. I noticed that I am currently demonetized, which really sucks. So if you guys could like watch my old videos, I guess, or watch this one and, uh, you know, leave your girl some love.
I'm much more active on TikTok if you guys want to follow me there. It's the same name as here at Shantrina's. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.